let's do some math for fun, and this is about the derivative in calculus. And let me ask you guys a tricky question. If the function is ln x, we are trying to find out the derivative of ln x when x is equal to negative 2. Well, you may think that this is going to be so easy, right? Because of course, we can totally differentiate ln x, and when we differentiate that, we get what? 1 over x, right? And right here, you know, we just have to plug in negative 2 into the x value. So you can just work this out. f prime of negative 2 in like this, and you get 1 over plugging negative 2 right here. You have 1 over negative 2. And let me tell you guys this. This right here is actually incorrect. Did you see why? All right, so let me explain why this is incorrect. Let's take a look of the graph of L and X right here. And as we all know, when we graph L and X, we actually just get this, right? And this is the function L and X. We don't have this side, right? Can x even be negative 2? No, right? So that's the idea of what we mean by the domain. What are the possible x value? If the function is ln x, we know x has to be greater than 0. That's the domain. And of course, once we differentiate ln x, we get f prime of x, which is 1 over x. However, the domain no, has to stay the same, right? 1 over x, be sure we can only plug in x greater than 0. Because right here, we didn't even have the function. How can we even have the derivative? So, this is the idea. If the x value is negative 2, this is not doable because we don't have the function in the first place. So, this is a tricky question as I told you, right? And perhaps the best answer right here, you can say this is uh, undefined it, right? Because we cannot plug in negative value right here. Or you can also say domain issue. And now let's take a look at another situation if that will make a difference. So right now I just changed the question. This time the function is ln of absolute value of x. And we are still going to find out the derivative when x is equal to negative 2. Can we do this this time? Well, let's look at the graph for our next first, right? Otherwise, we'll get tricked, huh? So let's take a look of the graph right here. Normally, for the ln x, we'll just have this side right here, right? However, you see, we have the absolute value, which is the x. In this case, x can actually be a negative number because you can plug in negative 5, negative 2, negative 10 in here, and the absolute value will make that negative number positive, and of course, we can work out ln of a positive number after that, right? So, the deal is, when you apply an absolute value directly toward the x, you will get a mirror image. So, whatever you have on the right, it flips to the right, to the left as well. So, you will get this like that, both sides, okay? this and that. So here, if the function is ln absolute value of x, in this case, the domain, once again, we can have both positive number, and this time we can also have negative number. However, we are still not allowed to plug in 0, because ln of absolute value of 0, absolute value of 0 is still 0, ln of 0 is not defined. It. So, the domain is all real numbers. Let me just write this down as all reals, except for x is not equal to 0. All right, so now, how can we differentiate this? And this is the idea that I have mentioned in the previous video uh, on how to, deriv how to take the derivative of ln of an absolute value. This is how to do it. If the function is the ln of absolute value of x, this right here, the domain is all real numbers except for x is equal to 0. When you differentiate this like that, seriously, you can just ignore the absolute value. The derivative of ln x is going to be 1 over x. This is it. And the deal is that right here, the domain is when, uh, let me just write this down again, the domain is anything but x cannot be 0. And of course, you know, we get the same thing here. The domain for this situation is anything except for x is not equal to 0. Okay, you don't have to 
put on aptitude for you and do weird things. The only issue when you have the aptitude for you like this is so that you get to plug in negative values right here in this particular situation. So for this question, f prime of negative two, this is doable, and you end up with one over negative two, negative one half. This is the answer for it. Does this make sense? Well, let's take a look of the graph. So negative two for x, which is let's just say it's right here, because this right here will be negative one, because absolute value of negative one is one, ln one is zero, so this is negative one. So let me just say this is negative two, and you see that you draw the slope of the tangent line because that's what the derivative is for, right? If you draw the tangent line, then the slope right here. I know the picture is not the best, <laughs> but you know it has to be a negative value because this line has a negative slope, it's decreasing. So you see, everything is consistent, everything makes sense. Hopefully, you guys like this. And that's it.